This is a basic catcher setup. Primary energy source is a laptop uh, supply. There is a 15,000 microfarad capacitor connected to the power supply. I will flip the switch now, so it's on. It draws about 600 milliampers, and it's 18.7 volts. Gives a nice blue flame. Spark is coming from the inside coil too. We'll get two diodes and the capacitor and another capacitor. Connect the diodes with the inside coil and ingoing diode to the negative terminal and the outgoing is to the positive of the terminal of the capacitor. You will also need a grounding for faster charging on the negative side of the capacitor. Connect the other capacitor. In fact, we don't even have to connect diodes to the inside coil because just by hanging around it also rectifies. It does not collect as much as from inside, but still. I'm just warning you not to play with this because... I'll demonstrate how fast the capacitor charges up while the diodes are just lying near. Start from zero and now we switch it on. On. It charges up pretty fast by just being near the coil and it's not even sparking. I've stopped the system so there is no current draw and the capacitor holds 83.7 volts and we discharge this into a light bulb. This light bulb is rated at 15 watts, 240 watts. As we put it closer and closer we will have a higher charge rate but if we short out the spark we will have no. It is not influencing the input power. Now we put in the ferrite coil thing. Now by connecting to that coil it does influence it a little bit. Just a little bit. But the discharge doesn't. Now we'll check the charge time by connecting it into the inner coil. We start from zero. We switch it on now. And now it already jumped up to 150, 200, and 200 watts. 300 watts. 350. To give you an idea of how much energy this capacitor holds at 300 and about 330 volts, I will connect a 40 watt light bulb to it, and you will see.